Welcome back, everyone, to episode 7 of our Let's Play to Reform the Taiyi Sect. Um, that's right, uh, we still have the cruel reminder here. We lost, uh, lost our first guy here. So we'll get rid of that. We're starting a new day here. Starting fresh. Not looking back on the past. Alright. Let's see, we're creating some stone blocks. Uh, might need a few more of those. We'll get those queued. Looking over to see what we have. Uh, I think, yeah, so we're still pretty low on folks. We could use a few more uh, inners, definitely. Uh, and actually, I think we need to kind of shore up our outers, too. We're down to three now. Seems less than I, than I remember, but uh, we'll get things sorted. So, a bear came to the realization of gems. Well, that's cool. Let's, um... I think, uh, yeah, we were trying maybe to fill out our agency. Maybe that's where some of our folks went, too. We do still have uh, the Great Snowland, which has spirit stones for us out there. Uh, we have another city, uh, two cities... And then uh, at three cities, actually, and then the Wild South for uh, for wood. So uh, we need to recruit. It's actually uh, noon, so perfect timing. I usually forget. <laughs> and uh, by the time I realize I need to recruit again, it's the middle of night. Uh, so now we have 54,000 people in here. So let's see how many show up when we recruit. 52. All right. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's close to like 1 1,000th one or something. All right. All right. Already we have uh, some remarkable talent. Only issue here is luck. Uh, I might have mentioned it already. Luck is uh, like the god stat, basically. So this guy's never going to become like something incredible, really. Uh, but he'll definitely be good. Uh, what's his chi? His chi sense is great, too. Look at that. This guy's actually spectacular. This is probably the first guy that we'd want to actually make a. Uh, you know, a halfway decent cultivator. Um, I'm not sure what law I would give to him. Um, but uh, Liao Wen, uh, you're definitely coming along. And then usually what I do is I like to sort by luck as well. Like I said, it is important. Um, wow. Um, warrior, harsh, and ill-tempered. He's got some bad... Uh, he's got a bad personality. But his stats say something different, you know? Um, I'm not sure he'd be a good fit for any law, though, too. Intelligence is pretty important. Um, this actually, I believe, does have an impact on inspiration gain. Uh, you know, just casually while playing the game. Uh, you know, he'd be strong, though. Hmm... Let's take him for now, and then we can decide if we want to keep him later on. Uh, there's a lot of good talent here. Um, this guy's great at mining and cooking, so he could probably uh, sub in. I'm not sure. I don't think we have a very good chef, uh, but this guy's got uh, got pretty good stats, and he can help out with construction as well. And uh, we are kind of low on outers, so we'll take him. Uh, she sense, uh, yeah, kind of uh, the, uh, important stats as well, like int and perception are kind of low on this guy. Uh, he's a good miner. Eh. Uh, this lady's great. 49 social, decent charisma. So she could actually head up a, um, one of our agencies. So we're at a city most likely because they, they rely on social a lot. So we'll use her. Uh, you know what? Uh, we'll take this miner and uh, we'll send him over to Great Desert to help out with the mining operations there. Uh, wow, look at that. Uh, wow, her cheese sense is decent too. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, the low perception and constitution is kind of a deal breaker plus her luck's not really anything important but the 60 social will mean that she can also head up a agency for us we're getting a lot of good people here 
Um, all right, battle farming. Uh, oh, she's soon there. Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Social. No. 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 Um. Okay, so she's decent at farming, but uh, not the best. Um, she could probably help out. She's decent at farming and battle. She could probably help out maybe Riverbank Plains here. Um, okay, so we're starting to move down the bottom uh, of the luck side here. Um, so none of these people will be, I don't think, interesting. Yeah. Uh, interesting for us, at least from a cultivation point of view, but a mining and social and farming. Uh, we'll send her over there to Great Desert. Uh, social battle, check that out. That's great right there for an agency as well. Um, she's She's got really good stats. Withdrawn pessimist, you don't have to worry about that much, I don't think, with an agency. So uh, she's going to set up another one for us as well. I think we've got plenty of influence to send all these out immediately too. So we're just going to expand uh, this episode. Let's see. Farming, battle, again, really good. Um, dragon blood? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, we'll uh, send her over to Riverbank Plains as well. And uh, actually, that's it. We recruited 10 people. Crazy. That's good. Shikion is having fun, but we really can't just afford to leave her around here. We need to get her up to uh, at least Primordial Spirit. Um, well... I think they could handle it as a golden core, but we'd have to use a lot of inspiration as well. Um, she's going to need a lot of combat stats. So let's actually work on that a little bit right now. She does have some inspiration. Uh, let's see if any of her skills help out. Uh, purified energy helps with chi sense. Yeah, let's do that. And then we're going to need a lot of Protect. So what Protect will do is, as you can see here at the bottom, it affects a character's ability to defend themselves against damage using Chi. So I think, yeah, I think we'll add Barrier Power when we do this. So she's at points, uh, oh, she's at point 86 right now. So yeah, I think uh, that probably increased it a bit. So that was 4,600 um, Inspiration uh, and plus one Attainment, it says at the top there. And uh, let's refresh the screen. And she gained, what, like uh, maybe 0.1 points per, per chi. So uh, that's just going to make her tankier, basically. 0.92 to point. OK, so it's only 0.07, but uh, this will help. Let's see. Um, is it all the flat amount? Yeah, 0.07. But I think. So when she moves, I think, from 5 to 6, she's no longer going to be a novice. It's actually going to cost us two attainment now. So now she's experienced. Let's see if that is better, actually. Nope, still so 0 0.07. So these earlier points are the most beneficial, it looks like, and then it starts getting more expensive. Uh, let's also get a bit of artifact mastery here. Uh, just to make her uh, experienced with it. She doesn't have any spells. I don't think we really want to cast spells during a tribulation. You can if you're actually built as a spell caster and you're really good at it. Um, but uh, she's she's not. Uh, we're just going to focus on having her sword fighting capabilities, which is artifact mastery, and her protection capabilities sorted out as best as we can. All right. Uh, and then I think we're going to have her camp somewhere um, just to kind of suspend her a little bit. Um, so she's a woodlaw. So ideally, she would go into a place that helps out, but I don't think we have access to anything like that. Just looking around the map to see. 
Uh, we could have her uh, just do a bunch of adventures out here to Riverbank Plains. Um, you can always see the exploration progress down here. So it says uh, if you are at if you are at 100%, it means you've explored every nearby location. So it's only at zero. So there's definitely at least some things to find out here. Um, so we'll send her out there a bunch of times. And like I said, while she's traveling, she won't. Uh, her timer won't uh, tick down that much, at least. It'll tick down a little bit, but um, not nearly that much. She has 150 days. All right. Uh, G is going to get to cultivating. Uh, Gujun uh, was the uh, gentleman who buried the body, and now everyone's coming over to uh, worship. Worship the fallen here. We do pay our respects to our dead outer disciples, not just the inners. <laughs> All right. Uh, we could make a, a nicer cushion for people, uh, but I think it costs money. We're kind of low on that. So we'll, we'll try to do it uh, as we need it. Right now, the only person doing cultivation is G, though. Uh, let's see. So she would want a metal one. Uh, actually, luckily, metal is the one of the easiest, uh, lowest cost ones to deal with. So, in order to get that up and running, we will need dark steel bars. And it should only take like I think twenty-five of these spirit stones. So it's it's a uh, it's pretty worthwhile. Yeah. So we'll do that after we get some. Uh, some fine metal bars. The dark steel is is blue ore, uh, blue quality ore. So it's gonna make some really cozy uh, cushions for people. But it is metal, so only good for metal uh, cultivators. Uh, child from the. I don't think this is one of the people that we had uh, that we had invited to our sect. Um, and she's not really that interesting, so I'm going to let her go. I think we had another event where we recruited some uh, random folks to come visit. So she can go on her way. If she had better stats, she'd be great. Uh, the fact that she was 14 years old uh, is good. But her potential will be great, as you can see down here. But every other stat was bad. She couldn't possibly do anything, really. Uh, useful for us, at least. All right. She could be a supporter, maybe, you know, draw talismans and whatnot, but... Uh, with that type of a cultivator, you don't really need chi at all anyway, so your potential doesn't matter either. Um, Alright. So we have three spirit stonks as well. I think we found out, yeah, we could adventure here, right? For... Um, for those, too, if we needed some. We could use them for sure, but uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, the most worthwhile thing we could be doing here. So Gujun, uh, yeah, he's our new cultivator. He's water. I think we decided we were going to make him, um, yeah, definitely not an artifact crafter, but we were going to make him um, like a supporter. So he'll cast uh, useful spells for the sect as time goes on. All right, speed the game up a little bit more while we wait for people to come along. Uh, actually, what is Zhang doing here? Zhang is returning, but she's on a quest to do things multiple times. I think she's visiting Mount Shu. But I think we want to have her visit Glimmer, Glimmer Cave here really quick, so we'll do that. Explore the map. I don't think we've been there yet. So we'll see it's out there. In the meantime, uh, we're still having some trouble getting this uh, handcraft station up and running. Trying to figure out why. This ice crystal lion shouldn't be that empowering here, but it seems like it is. So we may have to move, move things one over, perhaps. I'm not sure I really like having uh, this medicine table in the corner, but... 
we might have to do it. Uh, the alternative is we could put yet another thing right here. Let, let's try it, but it seems like there's just an obscene amount of water energy here uh, from this, this this statue, I guess. And then right here, it, dis it, it falls off completely, so it's... It definitely appears as though it's a statue. Um, I wonder if we could... Now that I think about it, we could... Um, uh, well, actually, we could um, demolish it. And then let's try to put down just a small sensor here instead and see what the effect is. Maybe we'll just leave it like that. Uh, or better yet... Let's just move it right here. Uh, they stand right here to chop the wood. So that should work. Uh, so seascape we set up. Uh, now we are starting to burn through a bit of wheat. Um, so what I'm going to do for City of Abundance, we're going to change that to preaching. So that'll save 20 wheat a day and instead cost 20 influence. We have 60 coming in a, a day. Um, that's fine for us for now. And then we'll, we'll set Charity here. Charity, I think, has a better uh, likelihood of giving us more people. I know the events a lot better, too. Preaching, I'm less familiar with. Plotting, I'm less familiar with, you know. So we'll see. And uh, as soon as the... Uh, oh, yeah, there they are right now. So, Chao uh, what were you like? Uh, you're fantastic. Okay, yeah, you're going to be our new chef, I think. So we will accept you. Uh, Nyan Lusu. Uh, good at social. So she was an agency person. Person, I'm pretty sure. Kong Chin. Uh, yep, definitely also an agency person. Yao Wen. Uh, yeah, we were going to make him an inner. I don't know what exactly yet. He's strong. Uh, it, it would be kind of funny to make him uh, uh, so, uh, the sunflower refining law. We might actually end up doing that. Uh, I'll explain why that's funny in a bit. Um, let's see. Tuoba Jing. So, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, let's see. So he was, I think, also going to be... Uh, that's right, we were deciding whether or not we wanted to use him. So yeah, let's accept him for now and see what he's like. Uh, worst case scenario is we just, we just send him off, you know. Not a big deal. Uh, and you're a third. It's going to be hard to keep all these names together, so we're going to have to send out folks right away. Uh, Shikian is out here looking for clues, I think. Yeah. Ask around. Uh, okay, it's su a super hot place again. You need to be really tough, um, or maybe even have some traits that actually allow you to withstand certain temperatures. Uh, that is until uh, we get some special clothing from a mysterious dragon that can visit us. So hopefully uh, that guy swings on by soon. Let's see. All right, uh, so it looks like everyone's uh, hired. Uh, so Jiki, I remember, was one of them. Send her over here. Um, yeah, let's call it the, san the, the Riverbank Sanctum. It's called Riverbank, isn't it? <laughs> I called this Riverbank. Uh, we'll call it Riverbank Sanctum. <laughs> Uh, we don't have enough uh, money to handle all that, so I just want to get all these agencies set up, to be honest. Uh, start to get some uh, random events coming through here, so. Uh, Nyan Lusu, I think, was Lusu was one of them. Yep, so. Uh, City of Desolation. Uh, the Desolate. Sanctuary. Alright. Uh, and then, okay, we're out of wood. Um, actually, we might have some in our stores here, so let's take everything from all the stores. 
Uh, no, it looks like we're making a lot of wheat, but yeah, we don't have a lot of wood coming in. Uh, so we may have to chop some trees down. And actually, we may have to visit Mount Full Moon. I wonder if we could find a bunch of wood here. Let's camp once and just check the place out anyway. And then we'll head over to the Gem Spring Cave. So this guy's going to practice. Yep. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> an earthquake is just ripping through the land still. All right. Um, well, that settles that. We... we, we disaster. <laughs> We're not even set up there. We can't even do... Uh, um, <laughs> we can't even do events. So we're we're gonna get there, and um, we're just like building an agency, and everyone else is like running and screaming. <laughs> uh, that's great. All right. Yeah, maybe we should have waited until after the earthquake was happening there. It, it would have been nice if they gave us a clue, like, hey, uh, you might want to wait a week. People are people are busy here right now. Uh, let's see. Uh, so we have, yeah, definitely over 100 wood now. The doggo helped out a bit. Uh, so we'll actually set this one. Uh, we get plenty of wood there. Uh, who was it? Um, Kong Chin, maybe? Yes. Although this person is better at a city. Um... Uh, yeah, we'll send, uh, we'll send Kong Chin over there, though. We'll find more people. Not a big deal. The Wild Shrine. The Wild, uh, Pagoda. And then I think that's most of them right there. Oh, no, yeah, we still have the Great Snowland up north. Uh, a group of hungry wolves, uh, have offered their bodies to us. For you know sustenance purposes. We're not gonna play around with this group. That's that's a lot of wolves. I'm just gonna have the doggo deal with it. Okay. One of them uh, was not attackable for some reason. They're all either knocked out or dead. I think they're all dead, actually, because our dog is set to kill people. Uh, Gujun. Oh, got frostbite, huh? Is that... Uh... Where was he sitting? I don't actually know. Uh, we do need better clothing, but we haven't actually killed demon beasts in a bit. Let's make one at least. Oh, we don't even have enough for that. Turned out there's a lot that could be gathered. Uh, 40 wood, perfect. Let's enter the map here and see uh, see what's happening at the mountain. Yeah, we have already been here. Uh, maybe there's a demon beast, though. Yep, there sure is. Shadowy she. Super speeded up. Uh, Zhang is still pretty weak. Have the doggo kill. And uh, and then butcher. Okay. This will be that precious demon beast hide that we need uh, for now. And hopefully we can find uh, some wood maybe in their warehouse. And... Uh, We'll, 
up. We'll collect that from the villagers. <laughs> Maybe they'll be wondering why we, uh, you know, where their their wood is going in the future when we talk to them. We'll just casually say we have no idea. Those darn immortals, right? <laughs> sure if we'll find anything else around here seems like this is just a wall yeah um, oh that's right there's this other side where you can visit the Taiyi sect as well uh, there might be something up I think there is something up here actually So that's good. We'll get some um, some extras of that. Well, they fight that thing. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay. There's six wood. I, I guess we could take six wood back with us. I, I think we'll probably just leave that there, in case it doesn't respawn. I'd hate to be uh, taking six. Some purple cloud temple folks. Look at this guy. Six artifacts. I don't think I've ever gotten to the point where I had more than three on a person? Maybe even two? <laughs> there we go. I wonder what they're doing up there. Is there some kind of secret up there that we need to know about? Okay, 50, 50 hide. That's good. You know what, uh, sometimes it's better off to just not ask. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Um, what the mortals do in Mount Full Moon, uh, it, it stays in Mount Full Moon, all right? <laughs> Let's see. All right. Uh, so we have uh, three people heading out as abbots. Uh, we're going to set... Let's see, uh, Chao Kei was our new chef, right? Uh, he's only slightly better than this guy. He's actually much better at mining. Um, so we'll do that and then tell this guy to become a smith, I guess. Yao Wen. Oh, I didn't realize his uh, crafting was so good, too. Oh, no, wait, that's right. Liao Wen was uh, our cultivator material, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So. Uh, we'll tell him to um, work hard here. Make sure he has a bedroom. Uh, along with Chao Kei. And Tuoba. Um, I'm not sure if we'll end up using Tuoba. He's uh, mildly interesting. Um, another thing that we can do here. Okay, so did this fix the? Oh no, that's right. It's rainy. It's um, we've got uh, heavy snow right now, which is of the water element. So. We'll, we'll wait on examining things to see if they are in their normal state. We got a ton of wheat. So we'll produce flour for days. Alright, we'll speed up the game a bit. Uh, Zhang's almost back, so we'll send her over to Glimmer Cave. This guy really got blasted by Frostbite. Um... He must have been practicing where there was a lot of cold energy, or cold, um, you know, just a cold uh, item maybe, or something like that. Yeah, we encountered refugees. Yeah, we also encountered refugees. We're too broke to, to help these guys out. We're, we're, we're still trying to help ourselves. We're, we're greedy out here, so. Uh, we are up to 300 bucks, though. Camp. 
no rest for uh, for Zhang here. Uh, yeah, you can take a break. You're definitely unstable. Doggo's exercising. That's great. Okay, we need to... Uh, Konkin was robbed. Okay, all right. Let's uh, make more of these colorless beds for now while we figure out what we're doing. It's going to cost us some uh, spirit bucks. Did we already make this? Uh, I thought we already made that blueprint, but maybe not. Um, yeah, we called it the blank inner bed, but yeah, I don't... Oh yeah, it is there at the top. couple more huts and uh, we're gonna need a lot more of the blocks uh, yeah let's just make a stack of 50 of them a fey has shown up all right I think it's the second time one of these has appeared so they bring uh, constant weather uh, we're gonna deal with that right away though I think you can do some uh, interesting things with these phase. Uh, these magic creatures, basically. But we're not going to tolerate it for now. So, uh, the area was replete with fire chi. Uh, okay, meditate. Oh, wow, okay. So I guess fire cultivator. Zhang is a fire cultivator. I guess she can absorb that fire chi and do at least decently well. I'm guessing an Earth Cultivator would get even more experience then from this. But, um... Let's enter the cave and see. Uh, uh probably should, uh... Have our tank out front, right? Yeah. Definitely should. Um... I don't, know, I don't know if we can take on that. Let's look around elsewhere for now. See what else is up here. Forty-five hundred. I think we can deal with that. So let's fight it. It'd be kind of nice, maybe, to get a spell on Zhang. That might make uh, her combat prowess a little bit better. In fact, uh, yeah. Why don't we do that? Can she? Oh, she can't afford it. That's why. <laughs> Actually, she doesn't even have her inspiration yet. That's kind of weird, isn't it? All right. We might put some uh, inspiration into Zhang. Um, we can do that with these fancy agencies we're building up, with that belief that they store. Let's speed this up. Jeez. Yeah, we're barely going to win this fight, to be honest, let alone that, that 10,000 chi bear. Looks like uh, he is guarding some interesting things, uh, so we might do something cheeky to collect it here. 50 hide. Just explore a little bit more here. Okay, so yeah, it looks like uh, these are the only two rooms in this whole area. So uh, what we're going to do is move this guy in. I'm going to slow down time a little bit. And then, um... The doggo is going to attack. Draw the attention, and our cultivator here is just going to sneak on by. Yeah, see, look at that. That's He's guarding uh, a really nice bar. You want that, um... Collect that too, and uh, we'll collect the ore as well. That's a lot of stuff. That'll get us going pretty well uh, for our fire <clears throat> chi gathering items. So now what we'll do, uh, we'll get her along over here, 
And uh, believe it or not, we're actually just going to let our dog die. <laughs> so, uh, I don't think they take any damage. Uh, they just disappear. So, perfect. And now we get to leave. And uh, we'll just check to see. Yeah, Doggo had no idea what just happened over there. In fact, he's just going to go and take a nap. Uh, so that was a lot of fire stuff. Um, that's really cool for us because now uh, we'll be able to make a bunch of fire essence bars. So if you collect 99 igneo copper and use one of those beast bloods. Uh, okay, there's a delay. Yep. And use one of the be Okay. There was another delay. All right. So 99 igneo copper ore and a beast blood. And we get four fire essence bars. And these things uh, gather chi in an area and it's of the fire element so it's not useful for us yet i don't think we have any earth cultivators i think uh we were gonna make one we're gonna hunt the cat we're we're, we're practicing as the chinese do <laughs> uh and um the uh i think we're gonna have an earth cultivator here in a bit i think uh, we'll end up making liao one I'm pretty sure they use, uh, what's going on here? Oh yeah, the cat. Uh, I'm pretty sure they use, well, we can take a look at the law right here. Uh, yeah, they need charisma, intelligence, and perception. Let's see what his stats are for that. Get an idea of what his match will be. Yeah, perception, charisma, and so his intelligence is his weakest point. Um, he's a strong warrior. Actually, interestingly, I think that Earth Law is really good at combat as well. Really good at, um, artifact control and whatnot. So, it'll be right up his alley. Uh, or I should say she. Uh, it'll be right up her alley here in a bit. <laughs> so they just <laughs> collect resources. Um, okay, flower. That's fine. Where was I going? What was that? I don't even remember. Oh yeah, up here. So now we're up to 13% exploration. So uh, we're getting closer to learning more about the surrounding area. Uh, there's our 20 dark steel bars. So now what we can do is demolish this thing. Yeah, 20, yep. Kong Kin was robbed. This is the second time she was robbed. Man. Hire better bodyguards or something. Pay him with those spirit stones we gave you. <laughs> Negative 41 degrees Celsius. Uh, definitely chilled enough here. And you can see uh, below here the decaying number is uh, like multiple years. That one's like half a year. Uh, rubbish, we don't really need it in here. Uh, we could create like a rubbish storage uh, stockpile. That's higher priority uh, that handles it, but we have plenty of room right now. Actually, we could we could expand this storage area. And then, let's see, how does this look now? Oh yeah, so it, it definitely was this ice crystal stone lion. Interesting we didn't have that problem up here. Or maybe we do. Maybe we do, but maybe the iron mill's point is right here. I'm trying to figure out why this is now suddenly not auspicious. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Pretty sure this was uh, very auspicious in the past. This this stuff is good. I usually have a slightly larger uh, space that seems to work a little bit better. So that might be what's getting in our way here. We're gonna put. Um, we're going to put a colorless, uh, we don't even have any bars for that, or blocks, so. 
Anyway, this is kind of messed up. I, I want to put uh, something here so that items don't fall over here and then they can't get to them or some weird stuff like that. Very auspicious as well. Uh, this thing is no longer auspicious too. What's going on here? Uh, I guess we could put um, something right here. see what that does. And so this, this thing is very auspicious and it doesn't even really have that much stuff next to it. Very weird. Pretty sure this room was okay for the most part. Let's put um, Yan Lucy was robbed. Man, there's a lot of thieves out here, man. Hmm. Uh-oh. Oh, no, wait. Favorite Wait a minute. Bland, we talked to you, right? Oh, man. I guess that wasn't good enough for the Seven Slaughtering Sect. All right. Uh, some refugees out there, yeah. It's a bad world. Uh, yep, all right. All that stuff's doing good. So I guess we need... Where is, okay, they stand right there, so let's put a vase right here. Yeah, I'm kind of curious why uh, the fire element is coming into this spot, but if we move that one forward, actually, it'll hit this. So, hmm. Yeah, it might have been nicer to have, it, have this room just maybe one wider. Uh, we could do that and make it flush with this room, so it might look a little bit nicer that way. And just have a space in between. Just just one space would be enough to uh, prevent a lot of this uh, feng shui overlap that's happening in this room. These rooms are a little bit crafty. Uh, you have to be really careful and kind of look at it and play around with it for a bit. But once you get it done, I'm telling you it's nice. You know you need something, you just come here. You have your uh, primary storages out here, and uh, it's all good. Uh, more refugees, yep. It'll be a lot of that. Okay, we always work on stuff. Zhang is back now. Uh, we need to decide where we send her. Uh, might just have her resume going to Mount Shu. Maybe she'll get lucky and grab us some ice crystal ore or dark steel ore. So you do that. And Gujun is still basically dying from frostbite, I think. Dizzy yet drowsy. Yeah, frostbite. Not entirely sure how he got that, so we'll have to watch him uh, once he's back up and moving around to see what he's doing to get himself in that trouble. The only thing that should be killing him is this room... But uh, this room is fine. And it shouldn't even be in there anyway. That's right, we have our messed up walls. We'll fix that in a bit when we get things uh, going. We have other stuff that we need the blocks for. Uh, that, like, uh, let's see, we need this sect cushion set up. That's using up some of our money. The just disciples have gone away. So, let's have her resume practicing for a bit. Fegda, I think. Yeah, so it's not the final core shaping state. Megras is, so we'll try to push through that limit here as well in a bit. Whenever she is ready. Uh, Liao Ken's moving up really fast. I feel like he's only been here a day. Uh, we can feed him. Uh, we don't even have any ginseng yet. Ginseng is great for uh, boosting the foundation of your uh, your outer disciples, so they go through that state pretty fast. But um, yeah, we haven't really grown much stuff yet, 
And actually our yield is going to be really low because we don't really have a whole lot of spirit soil around here. Yeah, and so we have to decide if we want to keep this guy too. I'm not sold, to be honest. Um, I feel like there's something he could be doing for us. But I'm not sure what it is. You know what? This guy could be a um, this could be a practitioner practitioner of a law that we just don't have yet. I'm thinking of. Uh, let's see. Oh, she was dropped again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's tough. That's pretty tough. Let's put another spirit wood right there. We have any uh, rare, rare stuff? We have the Universe Spirit Crystal. We should get that placed down here soon, but uh, we need the Spirit Stones for other things right now, and we can't build it anyway. So I do feel a little bit nervous leaving it there. I've missed a few people already uh, looting us. Uh, so that's a decent artifact. What are you using right now, G? Oh yeah, you're using a a pair that we made. Go ahead and put that thing on. Go back to mine training for a bit. Ah, uh, yes. Ice crystal ore. Uh, this stuff's good, too. We have a lot of it now, but it is good, too. That reminds me we need to make... Uh, okay. An artifact has appeared at Alchemist Peak, most likely. We're going to turn all of that stuff into um, fire essence bars. We'll actually be using that array here soon, to be honest. We'll actually put it here. Curious stranger came up across this place by accident, and he want to know what we are doing exactly. Well, hello, curious stranger. You know what we'll do? Uh, we'll accept him, and then we'll uh, ship him off. We have need of hands right now. Having been to Riverbank Plains, we found a place called Sunstop Town. Oh, look at that. We can find some uh, some nicer materials out there. So we'll probably, uh, probably visit that with Zhang next. Uh, she's doing yet another adventure out to Mount Shu, so we'll tell her to come back after that. Uh, what is Gujun doing here? Is it a, in a breakthrough? Uh, let's see, what, what does it cost? It only costs Chi, so give it a shot. We'll set you back to mind training as well. Stuff's moving along, it seems. Yeah, Wen should be joining us, and I think we are going to make him a sunflower practitioner. If the, uh, let's see. The mortal realm? Yeah, we're not going to enjoy the mortal realm, though. Don't mess around with the peasants. Up to twenty percent. So we have plenty of plenty more things to find. We only found one place at twenty percent, so there might be like five things to look for, maybe. Charity at Riverback City. Um we kinda wanna get uh some of the other stuff running at the agencies, so we'll just do charity there. And then I think we'll turn off watch. Um, that's right. Uh, one of these places, what was it? Yeah, the City of Desolation. So as soon as this is built, we need to make sure we uh, um, help out with the earthquake. I don't know how well they're doing. Um, I don't even think we can yeah, visit it right now to help with the earthquake because our stuff isn't, our agency isn't even set up yet. So let's see what that's about. Kong Chin encountered some farmers being bullied. Uh, stop that. 
Okay, we got knocked out. Kong Chin's been robbed, I think, three times, assaulted twice. <laughs> uh, Alright. G Gupon. Oh, it's a it's a bird. It's a bird man. What is it? Oh, this guy's a tiger man. Wow, look at those stats. Crazy. These things are deadly. Uh, Zhang was about to head out to Mount Shu again, but we want her to visit some stop town. Go ahead and do it now. Alright. Gujin's uh, equipping something. Oh, maybe some new uh, clothes that we found. So City of Desolation needs to set disaster relief. Uh, we'll watch it. What's uh, what's going on here? What are the numbers? Oh, okay, the earthquake started basically the day that we sent them out. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh. Uh, so uh, there are four other sects helping out here. So we should be good. Uh, we just need to send, um, after Zhang is done with Sunstop Town, we'll send her over there. This person is still waiting. I think it was because it was at night when she came through. Okay. I'm just going to watch these two people fight for a bit. These fights are taking a while. Our doggo is still, um... He's almost grown up into uh, the learning stage, it looks like. That's what it's called. Okay, so this person... Uh, who was it? Yotian, right? Yeah. Let's send you off to... Um... What are you... You, let's see, you're good at battle and mining. Um, let's just send you to Mount South. It's the closest one. There we go. You have to unslacked in work. Well, that's fine. He's not doing any work. These guys really aren't dying. We could have uh, Meng help out a little bit. What's her artifact? Oh yeah, she just got that new chakram. Look at that. So she should actually hurt a little bit. It's fast too. Man, check that out. The artifacts can get crazy fast too. I think you can even change, yeah, the artifact length. I don't know if that has any impact. But you can change the length of the, uh, the color effect here. I think it's just aesthetic, though. Liao Wen has succeeded in laying foundation. So let's just do a quick check to see if there is anything uh, more interesting for him. He could be a Grand Chariot as well. That would probably be a decent fit. We already, we already have one, and he's not like a great fit for it. Um, mirrored Artifact, we already have a practitioner. Uh, six Paths could be interesting too. Um, I kind of want Sunflower, but maybe we do stick to then Six Paths. No, uh, I think I think we'll stick with sunflower law. Um, so only women are allowed to cultivate in this law. Um, you absorb yin energy into your body. So, uh, <laughs> if, yeah. So <laughs> you already know what's gonna happen to this guy. I was thinking about it. He's kind of wishing uh, he didn't have to, to be honest. Uh, she, uh, she, Liao. Uh, sorry about that, Liao. <laughs> 
Belonging to an unknown ancient immortal is manifesting itself. Uh, we need alchemy. We don't really have any alchemists yet. So even with uh, G helping out, these guys are pretty tough. They'll, they'll get it done, I'm sure. Okay, so see. <laughs> He's going to take a drink. What? Can't do that. She can... Uh, Gurjun, can you help as well? Does this guy... This guy still has cheese, so we can't have our... <laughs> he just took a break to... Just take some of our water, like, ah. Oh. This has been a good fight, guys, but hold on. I need, I need a break. <laughs> this guy got dropped. We'll move him into the uh, the field. There we go. That was his last meal, I guess. He just wanted to get a drink of water before he died. All right. G's having a little celebratory dance. A bull has come to the sect. He seems to enjoy it here. Not for long, as soon as I find you. We might leave the bull, actually, to be honest. Alright. So we could use more uh, alchemy places, too. Uh, we don't really have an alchemist right now, so it's not that big of a deal. We're not doing a whole lot of that. Oh, yeah, Gujun practices right here, so it shouldn't be cold all, at all, but it is negative 92. Oh, yeah, of course, the ice crystal chi cushion. Hmm. So what we could do to sort that out, uh, when we get more blocks, we could make a room for it and then add in some beast blood just to counteract that. We're actually going to move... Oh man, do I want to move this whole array? I think I'd rather move um I think I'd rather move these. Uh, I guess I have to demolish them. Okay. And uh, let's see. I kind of want to have enough space for a spot in between. So cushion should go right there. So we need to expand the walls as well. Okay. This guy worked so hard, I think he took a nap <laughs> right, right, right in the middle of it. Uh, a drought season of chi, so I think that reduces cultivation effectiveness as well as your chi regeneration. So that's no bueno. Uh, Liao, uh, Liao is probably pissed because he is not in a good area. There we go. Probably sleeping with the other people, yeah. Living with outer disciples, awkward cohabitation. And then, boom, instantly his, his mood goes all the way up. <laughs> it's regenerating like chi. Yeah. Alright. Liao does still need a metal artifact. Uh, do we have any? I don't think we have any metal artifacts. In particular. Mm -hmm. I don't think we do. So I think when Chi Kyun comes back, we'll. Uh, Jung Pan Lan is collecting resources, so she is out at Sunstop. Check that out really quick. Yeah, 
how slow they move when they're uh, just walking. You know? I think you can speed it up, obviously, if you increase your move speed, but, you know, it doesn't really matter for anything but this. And you can always speed up uh, time here as well, and there's no repercussion. Alright, let's see. Oh, this is a fancy building, look at this. Spirit wood? Oh, jade. Okay, still fancy though, wow. Yeah, it looks like a cultivator maybe lives here? This person? Ma Jing Z, yeah, he's a good person. Uh, pretty sure they won't care if I collect this life pill, just sitting here. Yeah, there we go. I don't mind at all. Yeah, it looks like uh, this is a favorite, uh, favorite little hotel of the uh, cultivators or something. Anything else useful around here that we can find? Oh, a scraper. Okay. So this item might not look like it does anything, but uh, due to its nature as a blunt instrument, it can build very fast. So that's code word for give it to your construction folks, and uh, they'll build things even faster. It'd be nice if it just said, you know, like, plus two building or something once, or something like that. Is this a story? There is a fruit once its taste as if honey, waiting for its season as we hang it above the eaves. Now here comes a lady, her eyes attracting like honey. What else to look forward as the anticipation, anticipated season leaves? Huh. I'm guessing this all makes sense if you're Chinese as well. Please dried amber fruit. I'm guessing that's uh, just straight out of, like, Chinese folklore, maybe? Okay, uh, I think I found their warehouse. Uh, they have a nice farming tool here. What is that made out of? Jade block? We might take that later on. We'll see what else is around here. I want to check out the warehouse first. Uh, so 171 jade essence. Wow. Okay, so we can upgrade all of our stone essence to jade essence now. Uh, is there, oh, there is something right there. Uh, just a few pieces of wheat. We're not interested in that. Uh, this farming tool is made out of goldwood timber. Uh, I think that's technically in the same tier as this other one, but I like the jade block looking one better, to be honest. Reminds me of uh, Runite, if you ever played uh, RuneScape back in the day as a kid. So that, that, that thing just looks nicer to me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Is there, uh, I'm guessing there might be a creature down here. I don't know if I should just be charging in, but... And then they have these weird symbols on the on the map sometimes that you can find. I'm not sure what the, those mean or if those are just mistakes left by the artists. Alright. I guess nothing else to find here. Uh, this isn't like a cave or anything, is it? No. Okay. We have uh, spots for two more things. I guess we'll collect uh, that piddly amount of jade and um, see if there's any any useful or interesting people out here. So, Nai Ying, move this window over here and just click down the list. Um, okay, I'm yet again looking for stats on the mostly on the right side of the the screen here. Outers are a dime a dozen. Uh, we can always find those during recruitment easily, but. Uh, Good cultivation material is quite rare. Um, it is difficult to find uh, someone like that. You have to get uh, really good stats, and then you also have to get a good arrangement of stuff over here too. So it's it's not easy. This 
guy's a good battler, for instance, but he doesn't have any chi sense, really. So He'd be a decent outer for the village, but that's fine. And then all the rest of these are actual chi shapers, and they're all cultivators. It says their, their status right here, primordial spirit and whatnot. So I think we will leave then. guy says horrid housing oh no that must have been from the uh, from when he was uh, living up there okay G should figure out that she should be over here shortly so we'll watch her for a bit Maybe that just doesn't work the way that I thought it did in the past. They should be figuring out that they have a cushion. Oh, well, that's right. She doesn't have a cushion anymore. <laughs> well, that explains that. Wait. That is the right spot, right? She is a metal cultivator, right? Making sure I'm not getting my people mixed up. Yeah, this is definitely hers, so... Wild South needs to choose a policy. Charity. We're going to start losing wheat. We actually have quite a lot, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, we'll leave it like this for now. And actually what we're going to do really quick in Wild South is build uh, wood. Uh, so we get more wood. Actually, this place is kind of desolate. Hmm. So it said plenty of wood, but, but not really. He's still a guy for now, but that's just because he hasn't learned uh, he hasn't learned his true self yet. <laughs> like, beast has been taken away. All right. And then, uh, as soon as Jean gets back, we'll send her out to the city of Desolation and deal with that. Um, our help should be more than enough, I would think. Yeah. Uh, every, everyone's going to chip in, so this isn't going to take that long at all. Collect resources. Okay, some flour. All right. We are starting to gather some things, too, that we could sell to the sex, even. The sex will buy artifacts. Uh, they'll definitely also buy like these finer works that we uh, occasionally produce while just you know laying around and playing music and whatnot. Uh, even go uh, matches that they play together can get recorded and become an item that we can sell too. So kind of interesting. We have our nine fire essence bars here too, so we do need to get this arrangement set up. They're still waiting for blocks down here though. Toba, I'm not sure if we do want him yet. I guess we can just leave him out here for now. Make sure he's not doing something useless. I guess he could hunt for us for now. Make sure he has a good hunting weapon. Oh, dark steel mace? Yeah, he'll pummel stuff. All right. And we are missing a good crafter again, so uh, we need to sort that out too. Gujun's pretty cold there, too, so we need to get that figured out. I don't think I've ever had to deal with that. I mean, I know I, I, I've dealt with it, obviously, but I guess I just don't recall it being just this single cushion is creating about negative 
80 degrees of, of 80 degrees Celsius of temperature difference. So kind of a lot. We could probably do this breakthrough too, though. He is a little bit frostbitten. But uh, I, I think he'll finish before uh, before he uh, <laughs> drops uh, drops unconscious from uh, from it being freezing around him. We did get more demon beast tides, so let's uh, make some more stuff. The Great Immortal Destiny Fair, which is held yearly in the cultivation world, has now begun. Uh, so it looks like we can join the event at the City of Abundance to recruit new disciples with potential. Hmm, okay. Uh, we will do that, but uh, we'll do this first. And then actually we'll tell Shikion to come back really quick. And we'll send her over to that uh, fair since she has... Uh... Or no, wait, her charisma's not that good. Oh, well. We'll send her over anyway. She's a golden core cultivator. You know, maybe that'll be enough to, to bring some people in. And that, I think, is a good spot to call the episode for now. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.